And Dr. King understood the main cause of hunger in America is poverty. Even before the pandemic, the US had the highest poverty rate out of any Western industrialized democracy. In 2019, when the overall economy was theoretically strong, 34 million Americans, equaling the combined populations of Ohio, Arizona, Maine, Iowa, and Georgia, lived below the meager federal poverty line, $21,330 for a family of three. Now let's remember that number because if an American were to work 35 hours per week for 52 weeks, taking no vacation at the federal minimum wage of $7.25 per hour, they would earn $13,195, leaving them significantly below the poverty line. Many people who work for tips in farm labor, farm labor and off the books earn even less than that. In 2019, 58.8 million U.S. residents live below 200% of the poverty line. 200% of the poverty line. Now that's the kind of math that hurts my little actress brain. I'm, I'm not that smart, I'm just not. But in plain English, it means that even pre-pandemic, nearly one in five Americans live near or below the poverty line. That takes my breath away. The decline of the middle class is one of the top reasons for our soaring poverty and hunger today. And the very best way to reduce US hunger and poverty is to ensure that work, ensure that we can guarantee workers a living wage in this country. And we have a chance to do that right now with this new administration. And it's actually more than a chance. I believe for me, it's our moral imperative. It's a moral directive for each and every one of us on this call. Our own sense of our own humanity requires it. Now we have learned and I've learned that the coronavirus and this pandemic is actually not the great equalizer, but the great revealer of a broken world. It's revealed that along with state violence, black lives are also disproportionately taken from this virus. Indigenous lives are taken at rates unlike other communities. And one of the main lessons I'm taking is that if one of us in our beloved community is not well, then we are all not well. Mm -hmm. If a four-year-old is hungry in a house a hundred miles from mine, when my four-year-old and my six-year-old children have gone to bed well-fed, that child is not well and I am not well either. And I'm so excited to be here today. Uh, I'm so excited for this call to action. And I'm so hopeful that we can get well together and work toward being a part of a beloved community. Thank you so much for having me.